Welcome to Science in Context. Last year, Mozambique rolled out a human papillomavirus or HPV vaccine to tackle high rates of cervical cancer. I'm Ryan and today I'm joined by Paula Christen to talk about her work to assess the evidence which informs these national level decisions. Paula, what exactly does your work focus on? Hi Ryan. Mozambique has a very high rate of cervical cancer, but only around 5% of patients actually receive appropriate treatment. In 2021, as a preventative measure, the country introduced a vaccine to reduce the HPV transmission, a known major risk factor for cervical cancer. There is a lot of evidence from the decade leading up to this decision, and our work looks at how local, international and global information contributes to these large-scale policy decisions. And how does your work help policymakers answer their questions? Working with our partners at CISM in Mozambique, we assessed which evidence contributed to the vaccine program planning and implementation to date. We also identified unanswered questions for policymakers, which can be addressed with mathematical models. Policymakers were mostly interested in learning about the impact of the vaccine. For example, which people gain the greatest health benefits or how preventing cervical cancer can free up medical staff and other resources. And what were some of your findings? So to date, 19% of nine-year-old girls in Mozambique have been vaccinated. And we find that this will likely mostly benefit women with the lowest income living in rural areas. Our study stresses the need for investment in accessible and equitable cervical cancer prevention methods in Mozambique. And using an approach like ours can help to bridge the gap between policymakers and scientists. The study is an example of democratic, multi-stakeholder evidence production. Paula, thank you for your time. Thank you very much.